Hello my friends, William Poloniak here at Whole Health Foundation and in this video I'm going to make another batch of juice and this time with collard greens, French sorrel, a lot of cucumber, some ginger, some garlic and some carrots. Let's take a look at my ingredients. Alright, here I have oh maybe a dozen collard green leaves, French sorrel, I've cut three large cucumbers into manageable slices. I have a uh, hundred grams of ginger and fifty grams of turmeric and the rest carrots. So let's make some juice. The first thing I'm going to do is put in three ice cubes and plug in my thermometer to cool down this feed tube on this hot and humid day in sunny Southern California. So let's first put the ice cubes through it. back through, put a couple of collard greens and we'll start with the collards. Now I'm noticing that my motor is working harder than it should, so I'm going to clean my grid, which you should do often. And another thing I want to point out is how much I really like this new wooden pusher with the tapered tip because it makes it easier to push the produce through without it getting jammed up because it is a little narrow at the tip. So let's continue with more collards. And first we're going to use three ice cubes because I notice my temperature is up a bit. Greens are very, very fibrous. Put in the last of my collards. And before I switch to my French sorrel, I'm going to put in three more ice cubes to clean out the chute. And then I'm going to clean the cup. to clean your grid frequently, especially if you need a lot of greens. So we'll continue with the J grid, which is 3 16th inch holes. They're better for greens. I'll start with a clump of French sorrel, and then I'm going to put my ginger and turmeric through, and alternate with cucumbers. again how much I really like this new tapered wooden pusher because it does make it much easier to put greens through. So let's put the ginger in. And three more ice cubes because I know the temperature is getting up there. And then the turmeric. 50 grams of turmeric, 100 grams of ginger. Now here's a little tip. To help the curcumin in the um, turmeric become absorbed better, you want to sprinkle some cayenne pepper into your juice pulp. So I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of cayenne pepper and that's going to be absorbed and hydrated by the pulp and we'll do a little bit more of the French pepper. Again, because I've got gloves on, it's going to be easier to do this. I want to mix all that cayenne pepper into this mix because I want the cayenne pepper to be hydrated 
and that will enable it to get the curcumin essence out of the um, turmeric much better. So let's do more French sorrel. Next, I'm going to switch to my carrots. First, I'm going to put three of cubes up there. And then we'll switch to my carrots. Now, when you have small carrots, you can put them end to end, big end to small end. Saves a little time that way. get your juices stopping like that, just remove the pusher but keep it covered and give it a jump start. So I'm going to switch from the J grid to the number two grid which is better for carrots. First we'll clean the J grid, J for juicing. The J grid is three sixteenth inch holes. The juicer grid for carrots is one eighth inch holes and much better for carrots. I will continue with the carrots. Normally you put in the big end first if they're too big. Now I've done the last of my carrots and what I'm going to do now is clean the grid, clean the feed tube, and the cutter, and then reassemble the clean parts before I mix this and make my juice. And someone asked me, why not just do that at the end? Well, I like to do that in the beginning. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is mix all of my ingredients, and I want to remind you that mixing in cayenne pepper will help release the nutrients in the curcumin that's in the turmeric. You can use black pepper as well, but I'm using cayenne. And basically, black pepper or cayenne pepper, you sprinkle it in just to taste, not too much. I'd say maybe five milligrams. And then mix it all together, spinning the bowl in both directions so you get a really good mix. Now we're going to make some juice with my less work six cloth method. And I want to remind you, if you're using turmeric, to sprinkle in some cayenne pepper, or you can use maybe an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of black pepper as well. So three spoons full of pulp. And we'll fold that into thirds. And we'll set that aside and press two cloths full of pulp at one time. Advance it all the way back and off a little bit, but instead of putting new pulp on top of the old pulp, I'm going to put this spent pulp back in the bowl to absorb this puddle of juice that's in the bowl. So there's a puddle of juice down here, so the old pulp is going to go back in the bowl to absorb that. And then we'll get fresh pulp here. Advance it a little bit. And again, because I'm puddling down in here, I'm going to put this spent pulp down here to absorb the juice and then mix it all together so that the pulp is not as runny as it was in the beginning. So I'll mix that together. And then we're going to fill more cloths. Advance that all the way. Two heaping spoons of pulp. Now this time, 
on my last work six cloth method, we're not going to put the pulp back in the bowl. What we're going to do is put fresh pulp on top of the old pulp, all the way back it up a little bit. And this time, we're putting new pulp on top of the old pulp. Maybe one and a half spoons full this time. And when you're down to your last cloth, advance that all the way. You'll notice you get into a rhythm. And my bowl's almost full, so I need to fill some bottles. So pull this forward, that goes over, and the spent cloth goes on top. Now, to prevent this from dripping on the counter, I'm going to set it back, but back enough that it's obvious. You don't want to put this back just a tiny bit. You will forget, believe me. Put it back, obviously, and then this is going to go over and fill my bottles. Fill the bottles, but I'm going to fill, not quite to the top, I'm going to leave about 7-8% to top it off with distilled water. set on the juice press properly, centered left to right, front to back, all the way back, back it off. And then we'll continue with my less work six cloth method by putting pulp on top of the old pulp. I do not throw away my pulp until the very end. And one reason is I'm going to show you how you get 10% more juice from the Whole Health Foundation model juicer. The Whole Health Foundation model juicer has a solid bottom plate and it has a lifetime warranty and that enables you to leave the press up for a minute or longer if you need to and that extracts 10% more juice and more of the vital nutrients. So we're going to advance that all the way. While my last cloths are pressing, I'm going to reform the spent pulp into a tight ball, press it again, and measure with my measuring beaker how much more juice we get from a Whole Health Foundation premium model juicer. And this is the last cloth of pulp. And while that's pressing, we'll back that off a little bit. We're going to form this spent pulp into a ball again and press it again and see if the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer gets any more juice. And I want to remind you that with the turmeric this time, we added some cayenne pepper to help extract and absorb the curcumin, the essential nutrients in the turmeric that we're wanting in our juice. So tight package, that's it all the way. A nice tight package. Flatten that and do the same thing. And using my folding technique, we're going to fold that cloth under like so. And we'll do that in both directions. Flatten it, and then do the same thing to the last cloth. Now I've got all of my spent pulp packaged into a tight ball. I'm going to put that in the press, centered left to right, front to back. Make sure the tray is on the press plate properly. All the way back, back it off a little bit. And we're going to use the measuring beaker to see how many more ounces do we get. Generally, it's an extra ounce of juice per pound of produce. That's a little the way. And when it starts flowing, we'll advance a little bit more. So far, two more ounces. So far, six ounces of juice. Back that off, we'll 
put in the last two of these cloths of spent pulp all the way back, back it off a tiny bit. And as soon as we get juice flow, we'll back it off a little bit more. There we go. And then advance a little bit. Advance a little bit more, and then all the way. There we have over nine ounces, almost nine and a half ounces. <clears throat> now, because my beaker's full, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour this into my bowl and see how much more we can get. Okay, this time I'm going to put another cloth on top, get three of them in there. And as soon as I get juice more, I'm going to back that off a little bit. Get another cloth on top of there. Let's try. It's going to be a tight fit, but yes, we can. Let's center that as much as we can, left to right, front to back. All the way back, back it off a little bit, and we want that to go up slowly. Now, remember, I've got a premium bottom plate on here and a premium press plate. They both have a lifetime warranty. Nothing is ever going to break on this juicer. There we have approximately six ounces and advance that all the way. Six and three quarter ounces. Seven ounces. Well, I'm not going to waste. Wait for every last thimbleful. You get the idea. We'll pour this into that batch, and then bottle the juice. Now I've got ten bottles of juice, and a little over ten percent was from the pressed and repackaged pulp. So from a whole health foundation juicer, we're getting a little more than ten percent extra juice and more vital concentrated nutrients. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to top this off with distilled water. You can use filtered water. I use distilled water. And then we'll cap it off and put them in the fridge. And we'll do a taste test. All right, I've cleaned and folded my cloths and now I'm going to press the water out and then into the freezer they go. You must press the water out. If you don't, you'll never get them apart when you take them out of the freezer. That should be enough. And we'll put the claws into a plastic bag and into the freezer. All right, I have 10 bottles of juice. And remember, more than 10% of that was because of the extra juice I got by pressing the spent cloths and I have enough here for a taste test. So let's do a taste test. So there we have mostly greens with about 10 percent carrots, 100 grams of ginger, 50 grams of turmeric, and some cayenne pepper to bring out the essence in the turmeric. Let's give it a taste. Well, I can taste the French sorrel. I probably could have doubled up on the turmeric and I could have put more cayenne pepper in. It doesn't have much of a bite, just a little bit of a bite. Well, here's to your health, my friends. In my next juice, it's going to get more cayenne pepper. I hope you like what you've seen, and if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I hope you're enjoying all of my videos and if you'd like to see all of them immediately, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get them automatically. Here's to your health. Remember to swish your juice around with your saliva.
Boy, that's delicious. I always love fresh pressed juice, even though it'll last five to ten days with carrots in it. Here's to your health. See you in the next video.